In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take this and turn it into this. Alright, so before I got started, I went on to Fusion 360 and I built a 3D model of the actual platform that I'm going to build today. I then took those dimensions and I transferred them over to a piece of cardboard so I can now start to get my material cut down into the size that I need before I tack it up and weld it. Alright, so I have all my pieces cut and as you can see I just kind of laid them out roughly about where they're going. So this is just a, a template. I have all my outside pieces cut. I can now start tacking these together, clean them up, and start tacking them together. Okay, before, um, before I go any further, I just wanted to take a second and just explain what I did so far. I got my bottom pieces and I'm starting to do my, I'm starting to do my brackets now. So this, all of this here, coming down to here, up and over, that's all three quarter inch. And then inside, this and this is half inch. This is all three quarter inch all the way around on both sides. And so I'm going to continue to put my ha uh, half inch cross members in. And then I'm going to put my other bracket. I'm going to tack my secondary bracket onto this side. And then I can start working on my post. So I'm going to continue welding this up and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so I have everything welded up. I have all the reinforcement in it. And what I first did was I, I cut all my pieces to length. Then I went and I just tacked everything together just to kind of get it as a solid piece. Then I went back and I welded all of the actual um, joints themselves. I put in reinforcement really just somewhere for my foot to go plus it also is going to sturdy up the the stand itself and so as you can see i have these two brackets for the post they're welded on as well so all the reinforcements done the main body is done everything's welded up and it's good to go i still have to put the teeth on the back here but for now i'm going to set this aside and i'm going to start to work on my post so the way that I'm going to do my post is I'm going to use a piece of three quarter inch steel tubing, but I'm going to reinforce it. So for the bottom where our bolt is going to go through, I'm basically going to do two pieces, two small, I'll, I'll probably cut this guy in half and then I'll take each piece and I'll kind of sandwich it like that. So I'll take two pieces of three quarter inch, I'll sandwich them on this side, and then on the front, I'm gonna come in with a piece of half inch, and that's just for the bolt when the post comes down so that I can, my adjustment knob, that's for the adjustment knob. Up top, I'm gonna to take two pieces of half inch steel stock, and then I'm gonna 
sandwich them on the opposite. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut everything down. I'm going to get it all tacked, welded up, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys exactly what I just did. All right, so we're back. I have the piece all tack welded. It's not I didn't finish welding it and grinding it down because once I do that, you guys won't be able to really see what I did. So as you can tell, I have the two pieces, the three quarter inch, and they're just tack welded on there, sandwiched on. And then if I spin this guy around to the front, I have that piece of half inch stock welded onto the front here. Okay, so I have it one, two, three sides. The back side is empty there's nothing there up top so as you can see this is where my three quarter is if I spin it to the side I'm gonna do my half inch on the other side up there and the reason why is because when this post let me come back further when this post is sitting on the platform itself you're gonna have your bolt going through this way and that's gonna be the pivot that's where it's going to connect to the actual platform itself. But up top, your bracket bolts are going to go the opposite way. And so, as you can see, I've reinforced the top with the half inch. And then I reinforced the bottom with the three quarter. And that's just because this is a lot thicker. And there's going to be a lot of force. Where this, where this meets the platform itself, there's going to be a ton of force there. That's where most of the force is going to be. So, I want to reinforce that. I'm also going to do a permanent button on here. I'm going to weld up a permanent permanent button. And instead of explaining that, I'll just I'll just show you guys exactly how I plan on doing that. And so my next step is I'm going to go through and I'm going to attach this all that I just tack welded on. I'm going to weld all of that. Then I'm going to grind this all down and then I'll bring you guys back so we could start working on that button. And the way I'm going to do that is I have a piece of 5 16 inch solid steel pipe or tube. And let me show you. So as you can see, there's no hole in it. It's just a piece of solid 5 16 inch steel. Then I'm going to take my 3 quarter inch flat steel stock and I drilled a hole in it to accept that 5 16 I'm going to tack weld that and then I'm going to put that through the pipe itself. And then on the other side... I have another piece. I'm going to tack weld this. I still have to round it, um, but I'm going to tack weld that onto the front as well, and that's going to basically give me that's going to give me my button. I still need to build the bracket, and I think that's what I'm going to do first. I think I'm going to get the bracket set on this, and that will dictate where I put my button on here. Okay guys, so I'm going to apologize in advance, I lost a lot of footage of building this bracket itself. And so I'm just going to go over real fast how I built this bracket, what I did to build this bracket. So I started off with three pieces of three quarter inch. I had one piece at one inch and then I had two pieces at two and a quarter inches, which gave me a length of five and a half inches. And I took the piece of one inch, that would be my center. And then off of that, I came at a 20 degree angle with my two and a quarter pieces. I did that on both sides, which gives me that curve, okay? Then I took a piece of three quarter inch and I cut angles into it like this. I did that three times and I used both pieces. I'd get two pieces per cut, which gave me my teeth. That's how I got my teeth on there. On the back, you'll see a piece of C channel which is this stuff right here and I took that and I tack welded that to the very back that's doing two things one it's it's making this this part thicker which is going to strengthen it up and make it a lot stronger and two it's not it's going to allow this bracket to move just a little bit so it won't be able to completely spin but it'll have a little bit of movement to it and that's how I did the bracket. While I was welding up the post, I also welded up my adjustment knob. 
And all I did was I took two pieces of the three quarter inch and I welded them together. I drilled it and tapped it. And then I went and welded it onto my platform. So on the bottom here, I have the two pieces of three quarter inch and then I have my knob. Also, when I designed this platform, you'll notice that I have kind of two big cutouts on the side here. That's so that I can come in here and adjust this knob very easily without having to like, you know, get my fingers up in there. I can, from either side, from the top, from the bottom, I can adjust that knob. And so that's how that's going to work. Okay, so I'm back with my post. I have my button on. I still have some shape in the dough. I also took a piece of angle iron, like this guy here, this thing here. I took a piece of that and I just kind of shaped it down, rough shaped it down. So now I have a little top for my pipe. Now I have all my pieces done. I grinded everything down and I put a coat of primer on each piece. Now I'm filling up a container of water so I can add spray paint and hydro dip each piece. Now I'm dipping the platform first. Now I'm going to dip my post. I'm going to dip my bracket as well. And then to finish off, I dipped my platform again. And I'm really happy with the paint job. So I have all of my pieces painted up. And now we're back at the table and ready for reassembly. I start off with a quarter inch grade 8 bolt. And I thread that in for my adjustment knob. I take two bolts and I sandwich the knob in between. Then I take my post, I have my bracket, so as you can see my teeth are cut at an angle and that's for a reason. It's so it can slide down the tree while I'm camming it and then it can lock in after it's done camming. Next I take my plastic washer and I slip that in on the one side of the post. I then push my bolt through and slip the other plastic washer on. Before I finish with a regular washer and a lock nut, I'm using a grade 8 bolt to attach the post to the platform. Okay, so we're just in the backyard. I just threw on a uh, just a regular buckle strap on it. We're going to slap it on the tree and uh, I try it out, see how well it goes. So I got 100% of my weight on it. None of the weight is in the saddle. And it feels solid. Feels good. Um, let me see side pressure. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Obviously because of the fence I can't do it here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna try to put this on a smaller tree too and see. So let me hop down and let's check it out with the, um, on an angle. That's real nice. Let's see how it takes. Side pressure, no problem. Get around. And I actually put these guys 
on an angle down here so I should be able to come all the way out onto that edge let me get you guys closer and so you can see it this is the platform at its lowest angle which I don't think I would ever go this low I designed this platform so that right here I should be able to put side pressure on that and it not kick out so I guess we can test that so I should be able to put side pressure on that without it kicking out which most stands you can't go that far back you have to stay up front here and so this is a hundred percent of my weight into the stand this is a hundred percent of my weight out on the edge of the stand Let's see if I can get it in there that's 100% of my weight out on the edge of that stand. So let me switch it over to 90 degree and give you guys a close up look at that as well. Okay, so that is the platform at 90, all the way out on the edge, 100% weight on the edge of that platform. Okay, so I'm over here at a smaller tree. I got the platform. I'm gonna try to put it on this tree. This tree's a little bit of a wonky tree as well. I don't really have any good trees in the backyard, but so far, they haven't been an issue. Right. So, I can toe cam it. And this thing just locks into place. All right, so I gotta say that I am super happy with the way that this turned out. I plan on putting this thing to good use. And so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.